It's a wandering horde. Don't make a noise. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the start of episode three. Uh, so a couple things before we actually get started in the game. Let's actually pause the game. Um, I released episode one yesterday afternoon. It hasn't even been out for 24 hours yet, I don't think. And you guys are really like liking this series, man. I've, I've had a, a, a lot more views than I normally would on my small channel. And I just want to really let you guys know I appreciate that so much. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. Um, and I'm really looking forward to, you know, a fun season here in Undead Legacy 2. Um, so, yeah, just thank you guys so much for that. Just super appreciate that. Um, I am, uh, I do have a busy work week this week in real life. Um, so I, I'll try and get these episodes out as quickly as I can, but they're, you know, they, they, we may not be able to get one out each day, uh, for this week, but you know, if you guys keep watching, if the views keep coming in and you guys are really digging it, I'll, I'll step things up and try and, you know, get an episode out a day. Uh, one other just kind of public service announcement too. Um, YouTube seems to take a long time sometimes to, uh, fully process my videos into, uh, into 1080 or I'm sorry, not 1080, 1440. Uh, all of my content uh, is uploaded in 1440, but it can take a while for it. So if you're watching the videos, you know, right when I release them, they might only be in 1080, but the quality will improve once YouTube gets around to finally processing it. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, you know, if that matters to you, you might want to wait a little bit longer until it's in the best quality. Okay. Anyway, yeah, once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you guys watching this uh, series and we'll... Uh, We'll keep it going and have a lot of fun. All right. So now let's uh, get started here. So it is uh, the next morning. I um, actually nerd pulled up onto that roof there right before night started in uh, in the last ep uh, when I left you guys in the last episode. And there's actually a sleeper on the other side of the roof. I didn't wake it up, fortunately. And so I, I kind of backed down. And by that time, it, it oh, shoot, uh, nighttime was already pretty much on upon me. So I just ended up hopping up on my own shed which i didn't really want to do but it's kind of the only option i had and you know there some zombies came in did a little bit of damage on the place but i i don't think they damaged it too much and i just plain crouched and did not move an, an inch because you know i i just didn't want to pull a bunch of zombies over here and start wrecking our place before i even have a chance to fix it up uh the other thing that i did um overnight is i worked on my skills i, I completely forgot to do this in episode one and two um uh, but I did it last night, and let me show you what I did. Uh, I put pretty much, I think, everything into the agility tree. So specifically, we put we had you know we had four points, right? So we put one point into agility. We put a point into shadow fox, uh, so we can hide in the shadows 13% more uh, effectively, and our actions are less noisy, that sort of thing. I put a point into deep cuts um, because I'm a fan of the knife in the early game for the bleed that it does. Um, so this is going to improve that. And we also put a point into cardio, okay? So cardio is also extremely important in the early game. And that's where I put my points. Yeah, I, I just, I don't know, because we're playing Undead Legacy and, and, and things are so different in this mod, it just didn't even occur to me <laughs> to do those perk points until I was sitting on the roof waiting for the morning to come. And then it's like, oh, I got to do my perk points. So anyways, that's what we did. Uh, I went ahead and did them off camera because, particularly because I wanted this one so we could even be a little more stealthy and hopefully not get detected. All right, so anyway, let's get started uh, today. So uh, we, uh, our goal for today is to get try and get our place a little bit more fortified. Um, and so, yeah, that's what we're going to work on. It is uh, it is day three, too. Okay, so we got this Marlene uh, or Darlene down here aggravated. Now, in vanilla, Darlene is really fast. Um, I don't know. Oh, could you? <laughs> <laughs> Looked like she was going to get up here for a second. Um, she's really fast in vanilla. I don't know how she is in the mod, but here, since she's down here, let's just do this. Uh, let's also block this in case somebody comes from that side. Okay, let's give her a bleed. And we'll also uh, hit her with this. Yeah, that does a reasonable amount of damage. And we got a spider's... Oh, shit. Okay, time to go. Run away, run away. <laughs> Crap. 
<laughs> okay, this is a great start to our morning here. Um, let's see if we can get away from these yahoos. I do have that coffee on my toolbar, so that'll give us a stamina boost if we... I'm just, I'm trying to listen. Whew, okay. I don't know, man. It seems like it's... Seems like it's a little easier to escape these guys than it is in vanilla. Well, we haven't escaped him, but fortunately he's pretty f slow. So we might as well... Oh, he's called a hunter zombie, not a spider. Oh, shit, we're backed in the corner. Not good. That's not a good place to be. All right, you know what we're going to do? Let's get a bleed on you so you can start bleeding for us. Oh, and don't let, run into another Zeke in the process. So, yeah, let's let him uh, bleed out there a little bit for us. He does, he, He's not leaping on us. Oh, now he is. Why in the hell did I say that? I just jinxed myself. Okay, more bleeds. Get those bleeds going. And then let's mind our stamina here. This guy's actually not that hard to avoid. More bleeds. Oh, no, don't run into another Zeke. Okay, he should be succumbing here pretty quick. There we go. Okay. Give me my arrows back, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap okay uh i don't want to get hawaii Five O's attention because he appears to be really fast and yeah uh, that probably wouldn't go well for us um okay so let's see if we can get back to our base now i'm gonna need some resources of course wood and nails and that sort of thing uh, to do everything we need to do um here let's get this too because we get some pretty nice uh, additional resources from taking these things apart Okay, um, and, oh, I need, yeah, I just, I need stone and wood, like, big time. Big time stone and wood, okay? So let's, uh, we already looked in there. All right, where, where is our house at, by the way? What's that red marker? Uh, oh, that, okay, yeah, I used that to mark our, our, uh, base. So, I think, I think this, is that, that's our house there, right? Here, let's see. We'll, we'll mark it once I... I can't see anything, man. It's all foggy out. <laughs> it's like really foggy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is our base here. Let's crouch. I just, I need the zombies to leave me alone for a little bit so I can get stuff done, you know? All right. Well, so much for that, eh? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to... Whoops. Uh, save. Save waypoint. Uh, this will be our house, or we'll just call it our base. There. Okay. Now, um, let's go back here. That's damaged. Let's close the door and put this down for a moment so we can kind of uh, get our bearings here. Okay, so uh, let's see. Those are all empty. What do we have in here? We got a few boards and some scrap. Uh, we do have this wooden hammer. So let's grab the wooden hammer and set it. To, 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 to. We need to we need to find a secure place for our bedroll too. Um, but let's grab this first. Okay, so we just repaired that. And oh, I guess that's all we needed to repair for the moment, right? I don't want to put the bedroll in here until we until we have a you know this place a little better secured because right now it's kind of touch and go, you know. Um, I was gonna put it up on the roof until I realized that sleeper was up there. So let's just look over here real quick. And is it possible for us to? What's that? Oh, drop loot. Oh, nice! Look at that! Oh, shit! What? Oh, that's me! <laughs> I heard this. Ugh. That's actually me. <laughs> well, that was fortuitous. Let's have some lamb cuts. Oh, my goodness. That was really fortuitous. Hey, do we have more lamb cuts in here? Uh, Grandpa's moonshine, though. That'll probably come in handy. We could eat this and then eat this. That was tasty. 
What the? Oh, I, that was the cart. Oh my goodness. I'm like just so jumpy right now. All right, let's look inside of here. Wow. Okay, so this is, yeah, these are schematics. Right, so we're going to want probably all this stuff, right? Electric wire relay and trip wire post. Very nice. And then we'll take the headlight and probably sell it. Um, are there any Zeeks in here? Bet you, I'll bet you there are. Here, let's just... businessman. All right. I don't want to mess with him. He's armored and he's fast. Well, he is in vanilla anyways. Okay. So here, let's do this then. Let's jump back up here. Um, can we get up here? There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do for, for now is we're going to set our bedroll up here. Uh, yeah, good enough. So that way we have a safe-ish respawn point. And, and again, I don't want to put it in there until we, until we really get that thing secured. Okay, let's grab those. So now what we're going to need to do is do some uh, repairing here. So if we want to upgrade this, uh, we can upgrade that. Here, actually, I want to upgrade these. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We should go find some cobblestone, too. Um. All right, so, yeah, we're going to need... Can I make cobblestone? I don't think I can make cobblestone in this mod. I think I need an artisan's table or something like that. Yeah, it doesn't even come up. Okay. So um, we need wood. We need stone. We need chickens. Chickens? Chicken. Okay. Let's see if we can get ourselves some food here. Seriously? <laughs> That's just downright embarrassing, man. Come here, you little bastard. Well, we got a chicken. <laughs> Not in the most eloquent way, but whatever it takes, right? Wow, this bow sucks. Well, you know what it is, though. It's not, it, it. well, it's partly the bow, but it's also, I don't have any skills in it, you know? So you really uh, get punished when you don't have, you know, the skills. But that's fine. I mean, because we can spec into it, right? All right. Well, hey, we got some breakfast. So that's good. Um... And we should be able to actually make boiled, yeah, boiled meat, right? So recipes, what are we missing? Oh, I think, I think we have to turn a campfire on, right? Um, okay, how do we do that? <laughs> here. Okay, let's put uh, you in here. There we go. Okay, yeah, let's make a couple boiled meats. That's going to be good because it's going to help us both with hydration and with food. Um, and we can actually make an egg too, so we might as well do that. Some boiled egg. Okay, scrap glass isn't really helping us right at the moment, but let's uh, let's put that in there for now, I suppose. This we should keep on our toolbar for oh shit moments. Uh, we don't need to carry that around for now. Um, what, if I just scrap these, do those turn into stone? Oh, they do. Oh, nice. Okay. I was looking at that in episode one, and I thought it said I needed an artisan table to do that, but that gave us a huge amount of stone. Okay, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's eat. Uh, whoops. Sorry. I'm in, uh, I play a lot of subsistence, uh, by the way, and so I was pressing E on that just to eat it straight up, but I care. But um, we actually are not playing subsistence. We're playing seven days to die, so it's a little different. All right, that's going to help us quite a bit with our food situation. 
Uh, we're really not in bad shape at all, you know, water-wise. Um, let's even just drink another water. Yeah, look at all the stone we just got. That was amazing. That's going to save us. Well, you know what that means? That means I'm going to start hitting the big uh, the big boulder outside now that we can easily turn those into to stone. All right, let's eat this too. Uh, doesn't look like we have a chance of getting sick with that. Well, maybe it's because we still have the vitamin going, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, but that at least gets our food uh, a little over halfway, which is a lot better than what it was a little while ago, right? All right, guys. Now, what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, we need to get wood, actually. Uh, let's make a couple of these, too. And let's go cut some wood. Because we're going to need that to do our upgrades. And I really would like to find some cobblestone. I think we saw some somewhere, but it's going to be tough to do that without having to go into POIs, which I'm really not ready to, to do yet. So, what is this over here? Uh, well, yeah, we'll grab that, too. You know what else I can do, too, is make some more arrows. Not that I can sh uh, hit anything with them, but we should have some more arrows on hand, which we have to make in the carpentry bench. That's right. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Another jar. And we'll get some paper and plastic from this guy. All right, let's cut some trees down. Oh, one of you guys also reminded me in the comments, when you're cutting a tree down, the lat for the very last hit, you want to use a knife, and then you get a whole mess of resin. And I do remember that from season one, but I just forgot it until you told me in the comments. So appreciate that uh, comment there. Very useful. Very useful. Okay, so we got the last little sliver, and then if we do this... 67 resin. Woo-wee. Man, oh, man. <laughs> that is a lot of resin. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Again, I uh, can't remember off the top of my head whoever it was that reminded me to do that, but uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. 67 resin. My goodness. Okay, let's repair this. That was, that was good stuff. Uh, apparently, too, from what I read in the Undead Legacy journal stuff, the bigger the tree is, the more resin you'll get out of it, which, of course, makes sense. So I like that idea. All right, let's get this stuff. We're going to go back and convert all this wood, well, most of this wood anyways, into boards. And uh, we also need to grab some more iron so we can make nails. All right, so let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to make... How many of those can we make? 17. Now, let's make... Four of these? I don't rem... Oh, that's 32. Okay. Nice. And then we're going to turn the rest of these into actual boards. Uh, okay, let's... I, I have no idea how long we're going to be in this area, so we might as well replant the trees, so that way we have a close-by, uh, you know, source of wood. And, yeah, I'm going to just keep cutting some more trees here. Uh, and I'll just bring you guys back uh, after a little while, and then we'll figure out our next move. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to cut some trees, and I'm also going to gather some iron for nails, too. Okay, so I'll bring you guys back in just a little bit, and then we'll start doing some upgrades on our little shack. Don't go away. Nice. All right, guys. Uh, I am back, and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to run over to the trader really quick while we continue to make more boards. So I have 150 nails made up, 71 planks, and then more planks uh, to go. Uh, let's temporarily put this uh, stone in here. We've got all of our jars. Hopefully there will be new charges on the trader sinks, plus we have our coin. Um, stuff to sell to the trader, pretty much nothing except for this. Will he? I wonder if he'll buy those. Let's see if he'll buy those. 
Don't want to sell any of that stuff. We haven't, you know, we haven't gone out looting yet. We will, of course, but we just haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I don't know. I should probably... I'm thinking I need to keep the flashlight. Uh, these we'll probably hang on to for the moment, too. I don't want to sell any of this stuff either. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. It's just generating heat for no reason. Uh, we got lucky with uh, that deer, as you saw in the in the previous clip, and I also nailed the chicken, too. So we're not in too bad a shape, actually, on food and water. Could be better. Could be a lot worse. Let's run over here real quick while we're waiting for the rest of those boards uh, to finish processing, and then uh, we'll get to work doing some upgrades on the base. It's been um, surprisingly quiet uh, so far today, uh, to the point that I'm a little nervous as to... A, you know, it's it's a little too quiet kind of thing, <laughs> but there haven't been any Zeeks around at all, so I guess uh, we won't look a gift horse in the mouth there, but still, it is a little making me wonder why, you know, what how are we going to have to pay for this later kind of thing, you know? Uh, okay, so let's go in here. Uh, we'll check you first. So we could... That's 100... Oh, we don't have enough to buy that. Wow, okay, 156... Those are 68. Yeah, I mean, okay, let's hold off on that stuff. Um, I want to check the sinks. So let's grab these here. Oh, no more charges, huh? I thought these would, I thought these would reset. Oh, they, do they not? Maybe they do, but it takes longer than one day. Oh, nuts. Okay, so water is going to be a thing for us. Um... Darn it. All right. Don't think there's anything. Uh, did we actually try? Oh, there's charges here. Okay. Okay, so we filled four jars there. Greetings. Greetings. Um, oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, so we filled some jars there. I think we already, yeah, we hit that one yesterday. Is there any more water thingamadoodles around here? Not that I can see. What's in your inventory? Ooh, he's got some nice stuff. Not that we can afford it by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but yeah, he does have some nice stuff. That sucker is $8,500 make you holla. 9,000 for that thing. A scrap shotgun is 893. A Bengal M9 pencil, 3,000. So he, he must be like the weapons master. I don't know why I would have said something like that, but yeah, no. Very well. Anyway. Very well. Okay, so uh, how do you get down there? Maybe there's stuff down there that we could loot. Uh, I have no idea how to get down there. I don't want to jump down there because that's a long ways down. We could break our legs, but it looks like there is a pathway to get down there. In the vanilla game, you just climb right down the well, but I don't... S oh, well, here, let me look again. I don't see an option for that. There's no ladder along this well. The, the hatch is going this direction. Let's go look inside one uh, 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 again. You smell of the dead. Yeah, you too. I can't open that. I have no idea how to get down there. That hatch uh, in the vanilla game leads to it. Well, maybe there's a way, but you know what? We can't spend all day looking for it. So let's just go ahead and head on out. Okay, nobody coming. So yeah, we're gonna water's gonna be a thing because we can't. Ooh, there's some cobble. We can't um, dip into lakes and streams in undead. We have to get it from water sources. We've got a Steve Zombo there. Uh, do we want to try and kill him? I guess the answer to that is yes. Come on, buddy. Oh, you're slow. Oh, we got this. Let's just let the bleed take take care of him. We'll do a couple fast shots to keep him stun locked. Okay, he's almost dead. Okay, give me my arrows back. Let's go grab, let's nab this, oh crap, I don't have my shovel on me, do I? 
It's le okay, it's at the base. We'll have to go back and get it. Um, here, let's... There's a couple cobblestones in here. Let's look in the box. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, it's reasonable to assume there's going to be more Zeeks inside of there, so let's close that. Get rid of this. Okay, that door's already closed. All right, let's go back, grab our shovel. Oh, water source. Water sources. No, wait, what? Oh, does this one not work? I put it on the faucet and it's not giving me the option. Okay, well, fair enough. There's a bunch of cobblestone in there, too. All right, let's run back to the base, get our shovel, come back here. Get that cobble out of there, and then we got to get moving on our upgrades. The, the day's getting away from us here. I planted a whole bunch of new trees out there, as you can see. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to... No, we're going to... Yeah, we have to boil this water. Okay, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, that gives us nine water. That's not so bad. Uh, we want to get the shovel, which is right here. And are you... Yeah, you got 193 planks and 150 nails. Okay, so when we get back, we'll be able to get going on that. Oh, shit. That's giving us clay, not cobblestone. Oh, man. So it's not going to be that simple, is it? Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Since we got rid of that sleeper, let's at least loot the back room in here. Might as well, real quick, get whatever we can. And then we got to get back and get going. Nothing in there. Don't care about that. I'm a little bit... Uh, what's that? Oh, scrap rubber. Okay. Oops. We got a... There could be a buzzard up here. I'm just looking to see if there's anything up here. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a sink. Okay, here. Grab these. Nice. And the toity, too. Is there any zombies in here? And the bathtub? Uh, uh, it does have charges. Uh, I mean... It, that one doesn't, but you can get charges from there. Okay, good. Good to know. Uh, anything up there? We just got the attention of a Zeke down below, but hey, look. Crack a book box. Let's see what's in here. Ah, nice. That made it all worth it, right? Two bandages. I don't think that Zeke can get up here. I hope it can't. Let's just be ready to to abort if it does, or kill it, or whatever we have to do, right? Our health's not... You know what? Actually, let's take one of these now just to get some health back. I'd rather do it now than save it and then die because we didn't. You know what I mean? Oh, that's loud. Okay, nice. Um, That's actually really nice because remember we found that... Um, we found that cornmeal, so now we can make cornbread. Are you going to be a problem? Yes, you are. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, oh shit, give you one of those, and then jump down here and run away. I'll come back and loot the rest of that place later. We got to we gotta get moving here. It is 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Is he still chasing us? There's even more zombies over there. Okay, yeah, let's just leave them leave them to their own devices. Now, there is one thing I want to investigate. Hey, is that a water source? It is. It just doesn't have anything in it. Okay, we'll check it later. Hopefully that stuff will, you know, respawn as time goes on. All right. 
So here's the thing. I was just doing a little bit of experimenting. Let's, let's grab those and turn this off. Uh, no, we have two more to make, so let's make those first. Uh, this we can sell later. That we'll hang on to because I think we need it. Okay. So, um, what I was doing is, let's grab the hammer here. It says, so I've got, uh, I got large stone somewhere. Watch what happens when I try and upgrade this. See, it puts a large stone down there. So what does that mean exactly? Does that mean we can actually upgrade these with large stones? Let's see what happens. So flagstone? Now it wants clay brick. Interesting. Okay, so what's the hit points on this? Is that something I can show in the options? Uh, quality display user interface. Block hit point numbers. Oh yeah, that's 1500. Oh, nice. Oh, that's going to... Okay, okay. This is good. This is really good. So it looks like the old flagstone, but it's got the same strength as vanilla cobblestone. Very good. Okay. That is really, really good. Okay, so we don't even need to get cobblestone. All right, here's what we're going to do here. Now, we're going to make... Uh, I'm just trying to think here. Zombies don't usually dig down. They used to, but they just don't, they're not very good at that anymore. So I don't think I'm going to worry about the ground there, at least not for now. But what I do want to do is I want to make, oh, we need hinges for those. Ooh, that means we need to take some doors apart. Okay, uh, here, what's the heaviest? I love this thing, man. Okay, let's just put all this heavier stuff away for now. I've started making this kind of like the food crate. It's it's a miracle it's not catching on fire. <laughs> if this was, uh, what's the game? Uh, Icarus. If this was Icarus, that would have been already burned down. Let's just put that stuff in there for now. Okay. Uh, we need to go break a couple of doors uh, to get some hinges. So let's just see about... That door could take a little while to break. We need some easy doors to break, like this one over here. Here, let's get rid of this. Let's take a look inside here real quick. This is a... You know what? This, <laughs> this is a nicer garage than the one we're currently in. Hmm. Hmm. Anybody in here? What is what is the material here? What is that? Oh, that's 500 hit point. We got a poppin' pills. And a mo power. Okay, well... Here. The place where we're at now... Uh, one advantage of it is it's smaller, so we have less that we have to upgrade. Which is only a good thing in the short term. In the long term, it's better to have more because we get more XP. But uh, Okay, we'll grab that. Let's just loot these since we're here, right? Uh, but I think we're just going to stay where we are because where we are is very, very temporary. We're not going to stay there for very long. But since we're here, let's go ahead and loot these. Sliding iron door, powered sliding glass door, a lead battery, and electric switch. Nice. We'll take that stuff. Okay, let's quickly look in here. Nothing. Ooh, we got the handlebars and the bicycle chassis. Okay, let's go. Uh, now, we want to bust this door get hinges 
I think I have one hinge. Okay, that gave us one. Um, I want I wanted to make actually a total of f four hatches, but uh, we might not be able to do that immediately. Unless we can find a couple more really easy doors to break down. Thought I saw something over there. No, that's not going to be an easy door. Come on, easy doors. Okay, we got two hinges. So we have a total of four with the one that I have back at the base. There's a zombie walking around somewhere. Uh, those are... more cold resistance than what we currently have, so we'll take those instead. Oh, we get planks from this. And nether, uh, 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 nails. Good, okay. Okay, let's keep looking for easy doors. You know what we're going to have to do? We're, we're going to maybe even in the next episode. So I have char it does have charges, but it doesn't have any currently. Uh, we're going to have to go around and maybe loot some of these garages and stuff, but time's getting away from us, man. It's already 6 p.m. It took, it's t taken me a long time to cut trees down with this stone axe and stuff. But that's the way it goes in the early game. Okay, so we got one more hinge there. All right, well, what that does is, see, we got one at home. We need at least one more to make two. Because at a minimum, I want to have two hatches in place before nightfall. So we need one more easy door. That's not going to be, that's not going to be an easy door. That's going to be an easy door there. You got lots of, lots of looting and POIs to do. We'll hit the, the remnants first because there's going to be fewer Zeeks in those. And, you know, maybe too in the process of doing that, we'll come up with uh, a place that we'll actually want to want to live in. So this should give us a total of six hinges, which should be enough for two hatches. And we're gonna we're gonna make do with that for tonight. Okay, now let's go back to here. And oh I forgot to do that menu adjustment thing. Let's grab those and those. And I wanna make two of these. Okay. And then we're going to put one down here and one up here. Now, I also wanted to put some up here, too. Um, but we're going to need six more brass hinges to do that. So I think maybe for tonight, I think we're just going to plug those up and block them. Okay, cool. Now, let's take... these guys and uh yeah i think yeah that's what we want there now this one if we do on face but turn it around this way look at that all right so now we can fight zeekers and you know once we can get the other six hinges we can put two here, and then we can, you know, then we have a place that we can fight them off pretty good. Uh, but still, you know, easily get out ourselves. Now, what does it take to upgrade, especially this one? Uh, oh, scrap iron. Okay. Yeah, that's just like the vanilla game. All right, so we need to get, let's get a little more, yeah, I turned all my scrap into nails. So let's get a little more scrap iron just so we can get those upgraded. I uh, started like a little iron mine thingy here. 
hopefully we won't need uh, too much, but we'll see how much we can get out of here. Okay, let's get this uh, scrapping. And while that's going on, um, let's start doing some more upgrades. So we're going to get everything upgraded to wood. And then I will uh, work on getting um, things upgraded to... Oh, wait. What's going on here? Oh, those don't need upgrading. Right. Okay. So those are already upgraded. That one does. I'll work on getting the large stones and get everything eventually upgraded to this flagstone stuff here. Okay. So let's get up there. Okay, cool. So we got upgraded to that. Now, let, yeah, let's hit these two. We're going to want to cover this, have a roof on it, so we might, might as well fix all this stuff too. Plus, we're getting XP for doing this. Oh, we, we leveled too, so we have another skill point that we got to look at. So this this is going to, you know, at least let me... That requires iron plating to fix. Yeah, you know what? We're going to probably have to put some hatches in here, too, because this door is eventually going to succumb. Um, all right, do we have our scrap? Yes, we do. So let's get that upgraded. And excellent. Okay. I'm feeling a little bit better about things, guys. Feeling a little bit better about things. So... What we need to do now is we need to... I just want to cover what's still exposed. I'm trying... It's kind of weird how these blocks are are placed in here, though. Yeah, so... All right, well, let's do this. Let's make some... How many more of these can I make? Four? What's... Oh, we're... Yeah, we use so many of our boards, right? Okay, well, let's make four more of these. And what we're going to do is... For now, I'm just going to, you know, start covering and upgrading, but I'm, I'm going to obviously need more wood for that. I just want to get it sealed in, and then we're, then we're going to call it good because, again, this is just temporary. Shh, it's a wandering horde. Don't make a noise. is frightening so we're just gonna let them do their thing all right i'm gonna have to let you guys go here so uh what's gonna happen uh, i'm probably just gonna hunker down for the night again um i just you know i don't want to attract too much attention if we get one or two zombies that come in here and there I'll, i should be able to kill them easily with this but see the thing is i don't have extra resources on me at the moment to repair so once this horde hopefully gets the hell out of here, I'm going to go out and see if I can gather a few more resources, some more large stones, some more wood and that sort of thing. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of keep quiet for the night. And then tomorrow, um, which is day four, uh, hopefully we can finish fortifying this place to, to where we can go out and start doing some looting and hunting for a permanent base. Now, I said we could move to this house over here, and we still might do that. I don't know. We'll see. Um... But, um, yeah, that's pretty much where we are. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.